Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at another player from Trailblazer, and this is episode number 12 of our RTG series in FC 25, which is Ugar Theater Glory. And in yesterday's video, we did pack this wonderful player that you guys are looking right in front of your lovely eyes because i am absolutely in love with him i always love this guy he is an insane player and now we have finally packed him i didn't expect to pack him but we have packed him uh, he is a right mid player 86 rated right mid from atletico madrid and you guys know who he is guys marcos laranto let us go right footed player four star weak foot three star skill mo skill mo like you guys know i don't really care about what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be looking at this card in depth on paper on screen and then we are going to be putting him in a squad which is already pretty much built we're just going to go into squad battles try him out in right wing position you can play him at three different positions right wing right back center mid apart from his preferred position which is right mid so this is an insane card pretty much anything on the right hand side guys you can use him and at center mid as well so i am really happy that we got this card i am i absolutely love this guy now looking at the stats he has insane stats everything above 80 80 or 80 plus passing is the only thing which is at 80 but if you guys look at his pace 89 acceleration and 93 sprint speed and as soon as i put him in the squad i got two <coughs> chemistry player chemistry in out of three so those are the upgraded stats you guys are seeing right in front of your face plus two plus two in most of the places and under defending guys he has 82 defending with 83 plus two defensive awareness stand tackle 85 plus two slide tackle 78 plus two which is absolutely insane he has 92 stamina so i can use him pretty much the whole game and not worry about uh, going for a substitution over there in that right wing area so i can use my other players in other positions to take out and you know switch off players and get fresh legs and his shooting is insane he has 87 short path he has 83 long shot and he has 82 finishing these are all looking good on paper is he gonna be as good as the card says in game we don't know so yeah like i was telling before my wonderful laptop crashed he has good defending he has good physical he has really good shooting as well he has insane pace one thing that i like about this player is his pace and his physicality guys he is too good he is too good on the ball and as you can see he has decent dribbling as well he has 84 dribbling and then 83 ball control which is actually not bad so i am expecting decent and good decent things from this guy in game so yeah let us get started and we'll see how he's gonna be in game uh yeah we haven't seen what play style and play style pluses and what role he has guys i mean we did see a small part of it in yesterday's video but i have not discussed what his roles are what his play styles and play style pluses are at the moment he looks like a really good player i'm not gonna lie he has really good uh, look at that he has really good pace he has good finishing and he has good shot power and the trivella i just used didn't feel that bad so maybe he has trivella as one of his uh uh play styles maybe i don't know i've never seen the play style of him i'm not gonna lie but at the moment he looks like a good card now i am playing in squad battles but we are playing against an 80 88 or 89 rated squad and he is playing really well look at the pace on him the pace and short power is amazing the combo of the pace and short power with the dribbling is un unparalleled guys it's too good it is too good now is he good in the air i don't think so but i don't know where he's going to be standing he has good dribbling guys like the way i can dribble with him is really good Sometimes he does does this weird extra touch. You know, there's uh, one extra powerful touch some players will do. He does that at times. But apart from that, I don't have anything to complain with him. Definitely right wing is a position that you guys should try him out at. If you guys use him at right mid, I know that he gets uh, double plus over there. I don't know what is the double plus. I think it's like a winger, winger uh, role double plus winger he gets if you use him at right mid uh if you use him at right wing you don't get anything you can you even get him you even get roles of single plus when you use him at center mid and right back but i don't i don't you don't get anything when you use him at right wing that is one thing i remember from the pack opening when we packed him his pass feels good and his uh, ball control 
the ability to you know control the ball not only while he has his feet but when he's coming to his feet is actually pretty decent he has good dribbling the skill moves i don't really care about no, not a big fan of skill moves don't really know how to do them by the way but apart from that decent pace what else do you need good finishing good ball control for a, for a winger he has the abilities that is most required which is good pace good dribbling and good passing so i would definitely suggest if you guys have the chance if you have packed him please do try him out and if you have not packed him go to the score i mean we will go to the transfer hub and see how much he cost make sure you guys watch till the end we are going to be discussing about his play style as well because uh, i have no clue what his play style and definitely he will have a play style plus as well so we are going to be you know discussing all those things at the end of the video and what you might what chemistry style you might want to play to you know get the maximum out of him that also we will be looking at at the end of the video but apart from that he looks like a good right winger i'm not going to lie now at right back i have not played him i don't know if i will play him ahead of uh, diago dalo uh, whom i have done an evolution on and i've absolutely taken him to a monstrous level so oh my god look at that cross look at that cross that cross was insane so what we're going to do now is i am actually satisfied with the whole uh, the whole player testing in game he has good pace he has good passing he has good crossing he has good dribbling he has insane uh, ball control and then he has insane stamina so i am happy with the player i uh, hope you guys feel satisfied with the player now i am going to quit the game i am just going to force quit i don't care about the points and then we are going to go and see how he is going to be like you know the play styles and all those things okay now let us go and have a look at marcos marcos lorente's roles and play styles first to look at the, oh my god he does not have a play style plus guys he does not have a play style plus how okay this is not nice he have done him dirty here i feel like he is a crazy player how does he not have a play style plus he has power shot whip pass he has rapid relentless and quick step he has good play styles he has good play styles but there is no play style plus on him that is actually a bit uh, that is a bit extreme by ea that's not nice but looking at roles if you play him at right back you can use him as attacking wing back plus and if you play him at right mid for winger and wide player you'll get uh, i mean for winger you'll get double plus and for wide player you'll get plus and for center mid playmaker you'll get plus and if you use him at right wing like i do you're not going to be getting any pluses anywhere you're just going to be using him as a winger that is the that is the thing that's going to be happening if you use him at right wing his preferred position his main position is right mid so obviously he'll be getting a double plus uh, at his uh, you know preferred position so that is fair enough he's getting winger plus plus over there so maybe you just use 422 at this point and uh, you know maybe it is what it is people like 42442 sorry not 422 people like 442 people use 424 so these are all good formations to use and not 424 if you use you still going to be using him at right wing but uh, there are some formations like 441212 or something like that wide so yeah it's a good formation you can use lorente at and you can use him at right back and center mid apart from those two positions as well right wing and right mid so make sure you guys keep that in mind and uh, how much is he costing that is another thing that we need to have a look at so la liga atletico la liga atletico oh my god so you're going to be paying 440k for him if you want to go buy him from the market i don't know if that is worth it but he is a good card just from the card point of view those who have packed him definitely a good card but i don't know if it's worth 450k 445k i mean i have never been a person who has spent that much money in this game or have had saved up that much coins in this game i just play with what players i pack so if you guys are intrigued and if you guys want have a lot of coins in your squad you can go for marcus lorente as well but uh, i feel like if if some, there is somebody in the on youtube out there who has made a player review on pulisic 
make sure you guys go check that video out as well because Pulisic's cards does Pulisic's card does look balanced compared to Laurentiis card. So I would suggest you guys go have a okay. This is this is irritating me. Why is Bruno Spears there in Laurentiis name? Look at how that weird it looks. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, but getting back to our point, this is EA. <laughs> EA Sports. They missed the game. So yeah. Now coming back to this video, make sure you guys go check out Pulisic's player review. If I am fortunate to pack him, I will try him out as well. I do have that limited player time card, so maybe I'll just do a player review on it. But it's not gonna be, you know. This looks good. Like if you have to review him and Lorente on paper, you guys can see that, right? Pulisic looks way better and he gets double plus as well because his natural position is right wing. So you're going to be getting inside for press plus. And the only places where Laurenta is better than Pulisic is at defense and physicality. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. If you're playing him, uh, if you want a pure attacking right winger, go for Pulisic. Both of them are going to be costing the same pretty much. And if you guys want a player who is very well balanced in all the different positions, you might have to go for Marcus Lorente. The way, when I said uh, Pulisic looks, Pulisic's card look balanced, I meant it at right wing position. I did not mean it as a whole. At right wing position, Pulisic's card looks very really well balanced. Look at the stats: 91, 85, 82, 88. That is a well balanced card compared to Marcus's 91, 82, 80, 84. So I would de definitely suggest. You guys go and have a look at somebody who has done a player review on Pulisic before you complete Marcus Lorente. But according to me, Marcus Lorente card is a really good card. You can use him at right wing as well, peacefully, comfortably. You can use him. He has good defensive stats if you want to use him at right back. He'll go he's going to be really good moving forward. He's going to be good defending at the back. He's, he's very agile. You can use him literally as an inverted player as well. All these things you can use them as. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next episode. I'll until next time, guys. Take care. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Until next time, take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling. Bye bye.